We've actually managed to find young Hosanna. Let me just turn this game drive radio right off very quickly. And you can see he's not where he was yesterday though. So I had a look and a quick scratch around to see if the kill was there and Karula and Chongile were around. But unfortunately they weren't. And Hosanna has actually come from the south. So I wonder if crew, if they didn't get maybe chased around by hyenas last night and you all know that there's no shortage of hyenas on the property at the moment and Karula hadn't hoisted her kill. So her loss unfortunately, making it a very, very easy meal. But it'd be interesting to see where Shongile is and I wonder if Karula hasn't, if she's maybe resting up or if she's perhaps gone off on another adventure to try and find another meal that will hopefully not get stolen. Uh, this time around. Now, Sana, we've had this conversation. You do not go into this water because there is a crocodile that is still lurking around. It is very far away from him. Though luckily, he's now had these amazing interactions with the. Uh, I have got no com. Oh no, do I have comms? Sorry, I'm just checking quickly. Yes, I do. Um, <clears throat> he's had a really very valuable sightings with his mother where she showed both of the, her lovely cubs what a crocodile is and she sort of showed them that you mustn't go near them by hissing and growling and snarling and those cubs would have picked up off of that 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 animal is dangerous and that is one that we should keep away from. However, this is also Hosanna that we are talking about and we know that his curious mind often gets the best of him. So we'll have to just wait and see what he gets up to this morning. But he's got a big belly at least. So they managed to get one good feed. Unless I just missed the carcass completely. But we had a good scratch around. And we could see where all the grass was nice and flat. But there was nothing happening there at all. And I'm sure we would have seen our favorite little felines. Hosanna. Are you going to have a drink? He's staring sort of quite persistently at the water. I wonder if he hadn't spotted the croc. It's gone underwater now, but it wasn't really showing too much of its body, just its eyes and its nostrils as a crocodile normally does. So maybe he's learned. Maybe he's going to be more cautious, especially of these bigger pools of water. But we shall see what happens when he goes down. Oops, sorry, that is me just ducking. Apologies for that, but also watch him here. He always walks along the, the edge of the dam wall and to stop erosion and also to encourage growth We we brush pack so you can see all those fallen trees those cut off branches We put them here, but they're thorn trees to prevent the animals the herbivores for coming and feasting on the grass it's Just to give the ground an opportunity to recover and Hosanna and Shongile walk there constantly and it always makes for something very very funny to watch like I said, because they are thorns. So they often get their tails hooked in a thorn or they step on a thorn and then they panic a little bit. But isn't he? He's, got, he's getting so big. He's turning into such a lovely cat. He's looking more and more like his father every single day. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Brian said, mm-hmm. 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 Praise it, sister. He does. He's a splitting image of his dad, which is really... Well, he's actually a lovely combination. He's got Karula's sort of charm, and then Tingana's... He's just got this uh, presence about him. Like, when we were driving now, we are coming around trying to have a quick search, and there was nothing. And then all of a sudden, something made me look down to the right, and there he was, sitting behind a little bush. And you often get that with big elephant bulls, not typically, or big male lions. It's not something typical that you get with, with leopards. Here's our crocodile. Now, the croc has actually swam all the way across the dam to the other side, which is good. You can see he's going under very, very slowly, disappearing. Completely gone. And just leaving ripples that look like insects were sitting on the surface of the water. So they've got the most un believable camouflage and I think Hosanna has learned his lesson because there he sits and I'm glad that he's sitting that far away from the water's edge because that crocodile even though they're really great at launching themselves out of the water to snatch prey that is quite a large distance and I think Hosanna's reflexes have now got to the point where well 
if a crocodile were to expose itself by coming out of the water, he should be quick enough to pounce back at that distance. But let's hope, where one can only hope. Okay, the crocodile's not moving, that's good, it just popped its head under the water.